welcome to the first part of Let's Play East One, perhaps my favorite game franchise ever made. For those of you wondering, because East is kind of an obscure franchise as of this moment, the East franchise is a group of action RPGs, each one varying in gameplay style. This one is a lot like Zelda, but future games would take up a much different style. Anyway, let us begin this epic journey. Alright, time to uh time to start the gameplay part of this thing. Yeah, I'm awake. Okay. Uh not really. That's good to know. I'm having some really weird glitch errors when it comes to sound, it looks like. Hmm, I'll figure it out. Cool. 
That's good to know. Uh, is that a threat? I don't like threats. Well, it's good to see Dr. Bluto and Ayla. That's good to know. So, our first order of business needs to be to talk to every single person in town. There are 21 of them. Make that business number one. Make that the first thing you do. Trust me when I say this, it'll save you money later on down the road. It'll make your life easier. I promise. Old Man George, well now, who might you be? I see, you're the young man that Dr. Bluto has been looking after. You must have been through a lot. Yeah, I guess so. But you're looking very well. That's Bluto for you. I guarantee that is. I'm not going to read any more text, because I do not like reading text. Old Man, you know, the old man's probably the most important character. Yeah, I wouldn't be saying that for Long Man. fish. That's good. Fishing is good. I like to fish. I mean, it's not good that you're getting attacked by monsters all the time. Yep. Well, that's not good. Silver trading? I mean, that would make a bunch of money from what I can imagine. The blue-headed demons in the field. Well, that's good to know. Run like the wind. I got it. I'm not afraid. Hi, Grandma. I wouldn't be so sure about that. You could probably be in danger, Grandma. I don't like to be the one who tells Grandma she's not going to do okay. But I'm worried about you, Grandma. I want to head in here. This is the pub. Oh no, this is actually a warehouse. Okay. Nothing here. I'll worry about him in a second. Slaff is the last person you kind of want to talk to. I went kind of out of order here from the looks of things. Probably shouldn't be doing that. Did I talk to this guy? Oh well. I mean, I wouldn't call it a blessing at all considering monsters are taking over the land, but... Um, I appreciate your optimism. Probably hear some cars outside. That's cool. Alright. Well, okay, let's see what we got so far. So just look at how many people you've talked to. Just take up your notepad. I'm missing about five. I haven't been in here yet, so... Yeah, damn store wall indeed. Well, that's what happens when you get surrounded by an island whenever stuff is destroyed, mate. Don't know what to tell you. Uh, 
I get it. Yeah, I could imagine. I could imagine it wouldn't be good towards tourism. I could imagine it would make things much worse. Alright, now you want to go talk to Slaff. Now that you've talked to everyone in town, and if you have done things right, listen to everything he's mentioned. There's only a few towns here. Barbodo, cool. Mother of Pearl Pieces, wash ashore there. Great place to stroll, save monsters everywhere. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun. What else? Darm Tower. Hysteria's claim of fame, sort of. Yeah, I guess you can see Darm Tower all the way from... Appeared about six months ago. That makes sense from what everyone else has been telling me. I respect that. Yeah. Yeah, I will be traveling. I will be doing whatever I need to do to beat this game. I do want to help out. I can imagine wanting to. Short Sword has been received. Incredible. That is why I recommend doing this. You could, if you wanted to, head on over to the next town of Minia and uh, go ahead and just take out all... Just go ahead without the sword. I'm going to tell you right now, Whenever you leave this town, having this sword will be helpful to you. I will show you. I'm going to save here. And then I am going to unequip the sword. The bump system. Adol attacks enemies by running into them. His sword is swung automatically without pressing any keys or buttons. The success of his attack is determined by his trajectory and or the angle of the impact. A head on its strike will likely cause Adol to take some damage, but if the enemy is struck off-center from an odd angle, attacks will usually prove successful. Enemies all can also be struck from behind or from the side with little risk of resistance, though his technique can backfire if Adol is hit against an enemy with a large amount of health, since it will quickly turn to face its attacker. Without the sword... Yeah. That is why I recommend equipping this sword. Because now, we've already seen that. Now, when you fight an enemy... Shoot, I'm not doing good. You want to attack it from the side. Like that. Now, I do not recommend fighting still. <laughs> Because you are going to get killed. You will die if you fight these enemies. I recommend just running over to Minia and finishing what you need to do there. I need to mention, by the way, that this song right here is called First Step Towards Wars. I recommend... In your spare time, going on to YouTube and just listening to the OST. It is one of the best video game soundtracks I have ever heard. Now here in Minia, the first thing you want to do is talk to everyone. That sounds about good. So you want us to just kind of go in like a uh, order while you're here. I am Rhea, a poet and a tr 
Troubadour, my priceless silver harmonica has been stolen, and I don't know what to do. I value it nearly as much as my own life. Rio is important. Remember that silver harmonica for later. Still, he made it, and that's what really counts. You talking about me? I mean, yeah, I did make it. Correct. Step of descent. What? That's good to know. Talk to Nurse Lisa. Again, you want to talk to everyone here in the town. And then you want to leave. That is as important as last time. This time, you should have your, like, amount of people you've spoken to up to a very good amount. Trying to remember exactly where you want to go. Let me see. I believe if I go to the note page, which you should be able to see what all you've seen here, you should go somewhere to page six. Like here, I believe, is where you should be. It's either page five or six. I don't remember. Did I talk to this guy? Yeah, I did talk to him. I remember seeing him specifically in the book, but it's never a bad thing to... Never a bad thing to double check. I recommend it actually. Probably the best idea to double check. I don't think you were seeing things, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's kind of gross, man. I'm sorry. Chest, yeah, talk to Chest. Who names their son Chest? I'm sorry. I feel bad for that guy. It's like someone naming their son Doorknob or something. Oh god. Ormon, yeah. And just talk to these three. I'm gonna check the notes after this, and we'll see where we are. Yeah, I'll take a drink with you. I wrote a tree, huh? That is important. Take note of that as well. Cool. Somewhere in here you should be able to find a... That is important. We should be able to get that this episode. Then trust me, you want to do that. You're gonna want to. You'll see why. I've been in these houses up here. I do not believe I have. I will head to Zepic, but that won't be for this episode. Teach you the next secret. Yeah, you want to go in here. Let me teach you a secret here. Yeah. Cancel. No. You want to. You want to, and I mean this. You want to cancel buying this. Ten times, I believe, is what it was. And you can get him down to... Yeah, 
clutch. This is really good. Okay, I read somewhere. Ah, well. Either way, even with 900, you should be able to, uh... You should be able to take this thing back to the bar. And you will get heavily rewarded for it. Yes! You get a net gain of 600 gold. Now I read somewhere you can get that down to 500, uh, but for everything we're gonna need, you should have enough with just, uh... Let me check our page real quick. Oh yeah, I'm right. The problem is I've kind of gone a bit out of order now, and I am not pleased with that. And I'm worried I'm gonna miss some people, but we'll see. We shall see. That's really cool. So, see what am I missing right now? I am missing two people from the looks of things. Yeah, Haystack. Okay, who names their son Haystack? Like, seriously, that's, that's just... Cries to have their son be bullied in high school. You don't want to do anything in the shop here right now, but next shop over... Next shop over, for sure. You want to buy an armor. You want to buy yourself some chainmail. And you want to buy a shield. That is all for now. You want to equip the shield and the armor. Cool. And then make sure in the notes we've got everything we want. Cool. Yeah, I'm only missing the one person I was worried about missing right now. So we will head to that person. And bang, we will have her. Sarah. Oh my, it's you. Yes, it is me. I am the best person ever. I am not, no. I did cross the storm all correct. Yes. I am not familiar with the books of Ys. Ys was the name of an ancient kingdom that existed here ages ago. The lost history of this land is written within the books of Ys. Whoa. It is unknown, however, who actually inscribed their words, but the six books detail reasons for Ys's fall from grace. My crystal ball tells me that one of the books is in the mountain shrine. Yes, I will go. I got Sarah's crystal. Cool. So our next step will be heading to the village of Zepic. But, I believe this is all we got time for right now. So, next time on Let's Play East One, we shall head to the village of Zepic to find the location of the first Book of Ace. See you all then.